Hello and welcome to Karine and Company. Today we're going to talk about our root chakra and we're going to talk about fear, but most of all, surrendering our control, feeling out of control, trying to control all areas of our life. What really happens then is that a lot of disharmony sets in. So let's set our intention. You can put your finger in your belly button if you like, but my client is hanging on to this uh, vogel for more clearing. We really want to pull a lot of root stuff out. And what I'd love you to do is when you take your breath in, you take it way down to your root chakra. You're going to hold, and then it's going to go through the sacral, the solar, the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown. And at the same time, go through the feet. And I'm just going to ask any layers, levels that need to be addressed. We're going to do it through this. I'm also going to use my dowsing tool. And as I'm clearing this root chakra, we just want to surrender control. And a lot of people say, well, my root chakra is about feeling safe, secure. But we're not actually feeling safe and secure. So first and foremost, let's just set our intention, asking our guides, our angels, our heart wall, our lungs, our liver, our gallbladder, our small intestine, large intestine, and stomach to start letting go of all our insecurities. Whether we're aware of them or unaware of them, it makes no difference. And I'll let you know when we're ready to move on. I'm going to ask things this body is holding on to that maybe they got genetically encoded from your biological mother or father, their mothers and fathers, one ten hundreds, thousands of lifetimes. We need to let go of all those fears, all those unknowns, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering and sadness. We just need to let it go through our breath. Checking those Akashic records on some of that subconscious memory that we're holding on to and we don't quite know why. Let's go ahead and surrender it. Very good. Now I'm going to check the energy of your root chakra. I want to know what's the positive energy. What's the negative energy? Good. So right now what I'm, for, for not only this client, but those of you watching, we have a cross wire. I should be able to douse the root chakra and it should be a hundred positive, zero negative. So let's just clear some energy because that's not what's happening here. Let's ask that all the experiences that you inherited in the womb, days, weeks, months, years into your lifetime up to now, things that don't register for your highest good, let's go ahead and take a breath in and let them go. Good, I need to know. Any fear we have, deep-seated fear, that also comes from our kidneys, but it's a root chakra thing. So let's ask our kidneys, our kidney essence, our kidney jing, from the womb, days, weeks, months, years, until our current age, that that kidney energy we inherited genetically from our mother and father, their mothers and fathers, let's ask that kidney energy be raised. Removing, removing all fear, all worry, all stress, anything that caused us challenges, let's go ahead and remove it. And as we do, let's ask this kidney energy, raise the vibration of our root chakra. Good. I need to know what's the positive energy of our root chakra now. Good. We're at 100%. What's the negative energy? Good. So take a few more breaths in. Wonderful. So a lot of times when we're trying to be in control, what happens is a lot of things in our life is totally out of control, whether it's a relationship with another individual, with a child, with um, a loved one, a family member, work. Let's go ahead and just clear from moon, days, weeks months, years into this lifetime, as we take that breath in, let's forgive ourselves, all these trapped feelings and emotions and insecurities. Let's go ahead and settle them now. It's not like we have to let them go and forgive and keep moving on, but if you take that breath in, do release forgiveness. Your body can handle it. 
and if we're feeling stubborn or unsupported, let's breathe that in and just clear it from our root chakra as well. Good. Let's go ahead and take another breath in. Very good. Sometimes we put so many demands on ourselves and we demand things of other individuals or projects or situations. Let's forgive ourselves for making so many demands. Sometimes we do that out of fear and we don't really realize we're doing that. And then what happens is all the demands we create, we have all these huge expectations of ourselves and others. Let's forgive ourselves because we don't have any right to expect anything from others, just mostly ourselves. But sometimes those are self sabotaging behaviors, programs, and we gotta, we really need to get rid of them. So breathe in. I'll let you know when those expectations have been removed and cleared. Good. And um, those demands, demands of ourselves, demands of others. Let's go ahead and clear those beliefs, perceptions, and judgments. Clear this root chakra of our instabilities. Let's give ourselves permission to feel stable in this lifetime. Let's give ourselves permission to feel secure in this lifetime. Let's give ourselves permission to stand on our own two feet. Let's give ourselves permission to move forward in life and to be fearless. Good. Keep breathing. And let's just ask, what's the positive energy right now of our root chakra? Good. Let's ask, how about feeling safe? What's our positive energy? Oh, we're at 100%, so good. Take another breath. Wonderful. So let's just breathe in and trust our root chakra is our foundation. If there's any area of your life where you're feeling unstable, out of control, trying to control, just simply breathe in. Take it down to this lower Dante in, let's ask, from Alpha to Omega, that these patterns, these programs be acknowledged and released for the highest good of each and every soul listening. Just let this energy resonate with you. You should start feeling more confident, more calm, and very relaxed.